Hello guys, this is Captain Alod here, and I know that I said on the last video, if you watched the uh, fourth one, is that I will stop recording this until they updated it. Well, they haven't updated it yet, but I thought I'd record this while I, I don't know, I was thinking of a couple of ideas from, like, from other games that I've played, and um, I thought, they, I don't know, it'd be good to have certain things put into the game. Like, for example, one thing that I did think of uh, earlier today was um, that when you when you go to create your building, let's say here, here we go, when you go to design a building, um, I think that you should, it, that it should have like a little selection choice thing on the cre actual create itself. Um, maybe after you've created it, uh, what kind of building it's going to be. So, let's say... Um, you have a carpenter, no, well maybe not a carpenter, I'm not sure about that. But let's say you're allowed to make a tavern. And if there's an option to select it after you've built a building that looks like a tavern. It can look like anything you want really, but um, when you select it, you got to have certain things in that building. For example, some kegs, um, stools, well, seats and tables. So kind of similar, it'd be like the dining area, but they can actually drink... Um, alcohol or whatnot, I don't know if uh, the dev would want alcohol put into it, I don't know. And maybe a garden out the front where people could sit outside and enjoy the sunshine while they uh, are drinking or socialising. Another one would be a church, maybe. You make something out of stone, it asks you what do you want, what, what category do you want it in, and you say a church, therefore it needs um, an altar some benches down, uh, quite a lot of benches, because that's how, um, when you go inside a church, it's got loads of benches. Maybe, I, I wouldn't say you need a rug down the middle, but it'll look nice. Anyway, but stuff like that. So certain things that you want buildings to actually be will require um, certain items to be put inside of it. And also, when you do do that, uh, the characters, the hearthlings, will know that that's a tavern, that's a church, and they'll go there and um, maybe a couple more jobs. So maybe a bartender or a barkeeper. Maybe not a barkeeper. Maybe tavern owner. I don't, I don't know what you want to actually class it as. And then for the church, you got like a monk, a priest, stuff like that. I don't know if there'll be other occupations. It'll be cool to have where you can make a building for each person. Uh, or each job title that you have because then a kingdom will slowly get built up a city well a city a town a kingdom however much you expand it and um, another thing that I was thinking of was where people are sleeping um, I think if you build a house for a certain somebody and you want them you want someone certain to sleep in an area you should be able to assign people to beds so it'd be like, um, you want this person and this person, oh, sorry if I hit the microphone there. So for example, if I want two farmers living in um, a house with two beds, I could assign them to them beds, so those certain beds for them to live in, that house. I think that'd be a good idea as well. And one more idea that I did uh, think of was these blueprints. I don't know if they've already had the idea in their heads. I don't know if they can do it. But these blueprints, when you make your own custom blueprint and you save it, um, you should be able to, after making the building and you've saved it, you should be able to kind of take a screenshot of that building itself so people can see what it's like. Because um, I remember I made one. Uh, is it still here? Yeah, there we go. It's just green. I don't know why. But um, eventually if they do fix it where they have the screenshot of the building that you made in there. And also... It would be awesome if you are able to upload upload it to a workshop so you can let other people see your build or build it for themselves and maybe even add on to it because I think that'd be a really good idea. But yeah, that's uh, that's a couple that's a couple of ideas or a few ideas that I think the game would be cool to have onto their um, on on there for the devs to do. But obviously, we don't. I don't even know if that's possible. It should be, I couldn't see why not. But I, d I don't know how hard coding and scripting, getting all everything to work, piece together is. So, um, yeah, if they can do it, that'd be amazing. 
I know if you've got any other ideas um, that you think that would be good, let me know because I'll I want I'm interested of what people think. Um, what this game should have on here. The only reason I'm saying all these other things because I've played like uh, I don't know if a lot of you've heard of Black and White. Well, there's uh, Black and White Two as well, which you play as a god, similar to this, except you get to control a big creature as well. Um, you don't get to customize your buildings, unfortunately. Uh, but anyway, the RTS kind of god games, uh, RimWorld, as well as I've mentioned before, uh, that one's probably got the most in-depth kind of gameplay that I've seen when it comes to games like this. I like this one probably more because of how it is made. I love this the voxel look because when I played Cube World that was one of my favorite games until the developer on that ran away pretty much because um, I wondered where he went for a couple of years and nothing happened to the game so I'm hoping uh, this one just keeps on going and gets further and actually gets completed and updated I can't wait for that but this is just a short video just for a couple of ideas that I think um, I would like to be looked at so the devs have a little, a couple of ideas that they might have not had before, I'm not sure, I hope, but we'll see in the future and see what happens. So this is the end of this video for now, if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and um, also subscribe to my channel for other videos that I will be doing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video, goodbye. He's got there. You bugger. Yes.